Tony Pan behind the handle bars. I'm here with Jason Sims, who puts on the Cannonball, Motorcycle Cannonball, yeah. every two years. Every two years. And it's coming up in two, 2018 now. 2018, Portland, Tell, Oregon to Portland, Maine. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, we're a cross-country trip from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast. This year, we're going to be doing it from uh, Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon. Uh, we'll be doing probably about 4,000 miles. 16 days, I think, it's going to take us to do it this year. And what vintage bike this year? This year is going to be pre-1929. So, okay, got to have a 1928 and older and uh, be able to do it. And you get how many? You get around 100 participants in this? Yeah, we uh, right now we've uh, signed up 105 participants for this next run. And, uh, of course, we've got a waiting list to go on it. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's excited. We have uh, 76 returning members from 2016 class, so. And this is an event that kind of pays homage to uh, Cannonball Baker, who used to make those early, early 1920s or so runs across country, endurance runs. And this is an endurance runs of sort, but it's also a, 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 a competition that's, that's planned uh, where you're not over-exhausting anybody. Exactly, exactly. You know, we don't want to... Uh, Safety is the number one faction in it, so we uh, just have a time trial every day. Everybody does the same exact miles, and um, you know it's there to have fun, you know, and put the riders through a true endurance. Yeah, yeah and some of these motorcycles that come, some models are, are I'm sure, unfamiliar to many people. I never, I've never ever heard of some of these vintage bikes uh, that have been that have been coming. And you've got everything down to like little little almost pedal bicycle kind of motors. Oh yeah, last year we had a guy that was riding a 19, I think it was a 1913 Shaw, you know, I think it was a half a horsepower motorcycle. Uh, I think he ended up completing about 1,200 miles and maybe a thousand of it, he actually pedaled the dang bike across the country. So um, this next year in 2018, we've got some pretty crazy stuff coming up. A lot of early bikes still. Uh, even though we opened up the class, where uh, a lot of people still want to do the 100 year and older stuff to to prove a point that they can take a 100 year old motorcycle across the country. And at some point in time, I know you don't want people tagging along because that's not safe, and it's it lends to not a good a good comp competition. But you will at some point be posting the cities you're going to be going to, so people can kind of keep an eye out for you. Right? Exactly, exactly. Probably around uh, September of this year, we'll release the cities that we'll actually stop in and. Uh, you know, we never post the route, even up to the day of the event, but, uh, you know, we'll have the host cities for everybody to check out. And what's the website again where people can kind of watch this? Uh, MotorcycleCannonball.com. All right. Thanks, Jason. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can come and join you guys yeah. for a couple of days again We'd this year it. or We'd next year. It. Yeah. It'd be good.